you make time for what you value. You prioritize what you value. Speak more on that in regards to this context of um, how to be a dolly. Mm. So if you value friendship with a particular person, you're going you're gonna to make time for it. This, for, for me, this thing of, oh, I'm so busy, I can't come, it, it's really not the busy. It's, I'm not priority. Mm. And maybe I'm not priority right now, or I'm not priority at all, right? Not to say that, because uh, there's, there's, there's small things you can do to show the person, we are together, but it's a full day. Mm. I have a very full day, and we have those ones, mm. yeah? But there's, there's a way you will know that you're, not, you're either somebody's priority or not. Mm. If you prioritize that friendship, you're going to make time for it. You're going to make time for it. And it doesn't have to be daily. Mm. Let, me, let me not, let me yes. not uh, you know, have like those expectations for people. Uh, because there are, there are friends who I would uh, communicate with maybe once every two weeks, once a week, once a month. And it's defined that way, right? Um, it's just that this one here is defined differently and deeper. Mm. Mm. Yeah. How many can you have at this level? How many? Uh, how many? How many? Actually, let me not ask how many. How are you able to juggle mm -hmm. deep friendships if you make time for what you value and also at the same time... Um, Life is life in. Mm. <laughs> you know, I think it's five or six years ago. And I think I had the conversation with Candy. We identified that within our circles, there were people who had similar uh, value system, desire for growth, you know, even their faith. The value all mm. around it value and and I think there was something else that triggered it and we were like what if we bring this group together mm -hmm. and be deliberate about doing life together wow I don't know was it six seven years mm -hmm. ago I can't remember maybe six mm -hmm. uh two years before COVID mm -hmm. or, or so <clears throat> so we went like okay let's try and the good thing is now there what's up what's up there so we formed a group and said you know this group is actually for celebrating abundance. Mm. That, that is what we call it, called it, I think. Uh, oh, sorry, no. It was actually uh, to give thanks. Uh, to, we created a place <clears throat> where people can come and give thanks, right? Your question is, can you have more than one? Can, mm. you, have, ca can you have multiple uh, such friends? Is there enough time for it? They can actually, you can have more than one the depth of the relationship is going to be different, mm. but the trajectory and the journey, wh whatever that is head, it, it would be kind of facing the same direction. Mm. Uh, can you have more than one where one is facing this way and that way and that way? I think for me, it wouldn't work. All right? But then there are people, you can have friends who contribute differently to your life. Mm. Yeah? I have... Friends who, with whom I sit, and I'm just, actually all, all, all my girl groups, uh, all my friend groups, yeah, uh, two or three. I sit and I'm just myself, mm -hmm. and there is no judgment. Uh, some have come and known, one of the groups I've known since uh, university, those ones are 20 plus years, mm -hmm. then the other ones I, I met at the workplace. Mm -hmm. So they kind of like define themselves differently, but the value system, either way, is the same value system. The foundation has to be what aligns with who you are. Mm. Yeah. Candy, do you want to? It's actually when she was speaking, I was I was thinking about it. It's it's everything she said, and also realizing, as much as we have this friendship or whatever we share with each other, this depth we share with each other, we also recognize that we, there is, those are the spaces or those are the individuals who play a very critical role in each of our individual lives. Mm -hmm. And so the, the friends she's saying, um, 
the, the, like her deep girlfriends, those have become my friends. Mm. You're my friends, by the way. Just let me just say it. <laughs> look at my, at my friends. Friend. I'm forcing it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but similarly, mm. my friends, because um, I also have friends I have known. Because remember when I did my CTA, mm. I talked about um, the journey. The yes. 25 and 25 was God uh, changing my friends. Mm, your ICC. M m m yeah, as in changing the circle with which I am. So I have my ICC friends who are also my very good friends. And they have access to Dolly and Dolly is also their friend. Mm -hmm. And understanding and we respect that bit yeah. and recognize it. Yeah. So that we are allowing each other to grow and morph and develop and nurture those relationships because they're important. Mm. Mm. In, in that sense, yeah. So I just thought to add that, which then brings to, uh, to answer your question, can you have them, yes, the, with a, a balance here and there. Mm. Seasons as well, uh, maybe, maybe different of, over time, but then in the depth of it, you know, we may speak maybe once every week or once every month, but those are my true friends. And even though I, I was to say who are her friends, I know. Mm. who her friends are. She knows who my friends are. As in, if there's anything we needed to call, like a good example, when I, when I needed to, when I was leaving for Dublin, because they did a dinner, mm. a dinner um, mm. uh, farewell for me. It was the friend she's talking about, who's the, <laughs> I wouldn't say our name will be judged. <laughs> 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 but, but you know yourselves, yeah. the, yeah. uh, the friends who, the, the ones they abandons, uh, uh, grateful friends yeah uh, and then th it was that and but also my friends from fr friends from my other life who are my deep friends so yes so there is that mm. coexistence mm. okay and you can have it mm. and maybe what what no, I can sir. sorry what I can add is add the way dolly you're here <laughs> <laughs> uh, the way you carry yourself and then people observe you mm -hmm. Uh, as they come in into your world, yeah, maybe it's at work or wherever it is you, you hang out. Mm. Those who desire to know more or to, to access you more or to be your friend mm. will define themselves. Mm. Even the way you carry yourself, the way you carry your, your, the way you do friendship, and then it is seen by a third party starts kind of defining who would want to come in. Mm -hmm. And then you would have to make a decision on, uh, do I allow this person in? Mm. Yeah? Does this person align with, not, not that you force this person to anybody else, but does this person align with my value system, with the journey I have, with who I am, with where I'm headed, and stuff like that. So I, what I'm trying to say is, depending on how you start defining yourself as a friend, adding value to others, mm -hmm. that on its own becomes a magnet. Yeah. And it starts attracting, not the opposite. I know magnet maybe is not the right word because it's like, you know, negative and positive. But it's, you start like, you're attracting people who, who, who want who like what you. it is that you want. Mm. And maybe from there, and even before you, you have that friendship, you define yourself and then these people come then you see whether this is an inner circle kind of person. Okay. I want to go into the career conversation and more importantly, prosper path. Because mm -hmm. now that is another level in this friendship where you people have come, come, come into. But just before we get there, I want to ask this distance. Mm. There's a lot of relationships that have not been able to survive because of distance. You are now in two different continents. Candy literally flew in for, you said, as you said, two and a half days, and then she's off again. And, and in all manner of countries, and probably yourself as well. Um, how don't you let distance affect friendships, even with the intent that, because Candy's been gone for how long? Two years? Over two years? Two years now. Two years. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It, and, and it's like the distance has made you guys even get closer. Okay, just, I want to throw that to you. It is the daily communication. I'll tell you this, I'll, I'll give it in, in the, the answer in the form of a, an experience. 
the last time Candy was here, as in we talk every day, mm -hmm. it's either on chat or it's an audio that is sent. Those of oh, I need to tell you this quickly because I need to get into a meeting and stuff. But the you know the communication happens anyway, or it's actually a WhatsApp call that we have. So it's mm. communication, communicate, communicate. The last time she was here, I met her with some friends for dinner, and I didn't hug her. And she was like, <laughs> you've not hugged me and I've not seen you for a month. I was like, we've not met for a month? <laughs> you see, you don't even realize we've not met for a month. Then I was like, actually, you just flew in last night <laughs> when I hugged her. <laughs> you understand? Mm. This, the, the distance has nothing on it. Mm. it. It has, it's so much, it has nothing on me, on it so much so that I didn't feel like I was not with her, mm. or I've not been with her for about a month, or I don't know how long she had been away, to the extent that when I met her, we just continued having the conversation, like we left the same house in the morning, and we were meeting for dinner in the evening, mm. and we've been living the same house every day. <laughs> you know, I just remember, when I said this, I remember, I remember in 2017, I, I, I can't remember this, either 2017 or 2018, I've joined this new job, I'm traveling a lot, we're speaking every day. Oh. <laughs> I think she had seen me some t in December or something, yeah. or January. So we spoke and we spoke and we spoke. We speak the whole thing every day. Because I'm traveling and because at that time I was on one side of town and she's on the other side of town, we haven't met physically. For a while. Yes, I had left, I had left uh, Oracle at the time. Yeah. yeah, you see in Oracle it was easy because we would go to the office every day and then we would, <laughs> we would see each other, we'd do lunch, whatever. Anyway, then we decide Let's, let's meet. This day we are like, actually, since you're around and you're coming to Westlands or something, uh, let's, let's meet for dinner or let's meet for a drink. <laughs> she seated in the restaurant on the other side. Um, there was a, there's a pool. It was Mayfair, is it? Mayfair. It was Mayfair. You know Mayfair where the pool is? There's a yeah. restaurant. So she's seated and then I'm asking her, where are you seated? So I'm walking towards her and she's like, uh, she's, she's nudging me, she's telling me, come, you'll see me. When you come, you'll see me, you'll see me, you'll see me. I'm walking towards her. I get to the front of her face. She still has not seen me. You know, she looked at me, she exclaimed, she's like, what? It's you. Do you know why she was saying that? <laughs> We've been speaking every day, but she hadn't seen me. I had added so much weight. <laughs> That in her mind, Jesus. the version she's speaking with is a small, is a small version of me. I, we met that day. I think I did that thing metabolism during the following day. <laughs> That's all I needed. Because, you know, I had been, you no, I had been traveling so much, you know, hotels, yeah, all so, these things. Yeah, yeah but, and, and then she gives it wrote to me. She's like, "What? What is what are you doing? What is happening? What is you? This is you are lingering one of those pizzas from the pie." <laughs> 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 yes, 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 yeah, anyway. But I'm, I'm, I'm trying to tell you, even then, as in we hadn't met for so long, but then it's not about being together physically. Mm. It's that we kept the communication going, we are talking, we are all of that. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, we just, you're still tight in, mm. in that sense. Is there room for people to join even at this stage? What yeah. do you mean join? So, mm. I, I, it, the, in, in friendship? Yes. There's room. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm throwing it out there. Do you... Do you believe it's possible to make new friends even at this oh, as, as, mm, mm, mm. age? Yeah. Right. And I'm not saying it, yeah. I'm, I'm saying it because you're not in mm. your 20s and mm. you get what I mean? Yeah. It, it is possible, but you have to be willing to put in the work. Mm. You remember, it, yes. it, 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 it's, 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 it's about time together and, you know, that whole we are together. Mm. You have to be willing to put in the work because it has come at this age. Mm. Mm. But for those ones in their 20s, I would, the advice I would have is it's easier. Mm. And it starts with understand your journey, mm. connect with God, and then pray for those friendships. Then start growing them from there. I it's it. easier that way. Mm. Yeah. And then don't rush it. Eh? Yeah. We didn't start knowing actually we would be this. No. We, we never started knowing we would sit here talking about, no. no. Yeah. Or even being co-founders of anything. No. Yeah. Mm. So don't... I think it's it's the everyday the progress the progression, and the essence of this is I think it's the base of all relationships, mm. even including marriage. Mm. Mm. The growth, the biggest differentiator and the biggest 
common thing we have together is that need and urge to grow. Mm. She has the same drive to grow. I have the same drive to grow. Only that now we are saying let's grow together. Mm. Because if you grow, and, and that's why some fall off. Because mm. at that time, the reason actually we didn't start off in that sense. First, we were at different places. Mm. places yep. And we probably had, not probably, we actually had other people who mm. we were in the same level, who it was easier mm. to work with. But as the years go on, you find, and not not by design, as in not in a calculating manner, mm. but they fall off. But what, mm. what's the falling off? The falling off is either we're not keeping at pace, mm. we're not growing in the same sense, but now when you grow together, when we sit here and we have, and she said, she reads widely, she even challenges me. Um, <laughs> but now I listen to audios because she, she taught me I could do that. So because I cook, as you remember, <laughs> when I'm cooking, I listen to audios. Um, so anyway, so because of that bit that widely read, widely exposed, different topics to have discussions, different places to merge together, to expand each other's experiences and knowledge, then it becomes a very easy dance mm -hmm. um, in, in the sense. So by the time, because you mentioned earlier when you were saying, now let's get into prosper path. Mm -hmm. By the time it is coming of a God-given vision, mm -hmm. separately first, mm -hmm. then jointly, mm -hmm. to do it together, it's so seamless that it's effortless. That, yeah. I don't know if that... It's, it's, it's beautifully answered it. And it's even set the perfect stage for us to enter the conversation about Prosper Path. Mm. Because on your CTA, if you realized, that wasn't the time. Even when I asked you the question about Prosper Path on CTA, it, you almost didn't feel right talking about it mm. without Dolly. I didn't, yes. You get what Actually, I mean? Actually, yes. You what, are, it, yes. what then... Mm a perfect stage for us then to have the conversation about Prosper Path. Mm -hmm. So let's take a break. We're coming back for that conversation. Super. Okay.